I've taught inside my academy program, she's followed it to the letter and she has implemented it. And that has meant she's got proven results because Amazon isn't really a, like, you know, guesswork. To me, it's much more mathematical. It's very much, if there's demand for a product, and we can see that demand, right, using different tools we have available to us, like the bestseller rank or, you know, search volume or, or other things. If there's demand and we create a product that can fulfill that demand, you know, we're going to make sales, right? Now, the question for every Amazon seller, I think, should not be, will this product sell? Rather, it should be, how quickly will this product sell? And how quickly will this product sell out? However, I want to talk about my student, right, and what she did. So, this might be, I suppose, interesting for you if you're in a position whereby, you know, you're thinking about starting an Amazon business, you're you're watching these videos, you're seeing what I'm doing, you're seeing what my students are doing, you're seeing what others are doing, and you're like, you know what, I want to do that. I can do that, okay? And again, if it works for her and it works for me, it will work for you. Again, come back to it. It is maths, right? So what I would do, this is what I tell all my students, right? I would first of all master product research. Now, this is whereby you go onto Amazon. We don't need any fancy tools. And we identify products that we believe there is a proven demand and something that, you know, we could improve upon. So we would actually get the sales that are already happening. We're not trying to invent new sales. We're just trying to get a portion of the market, right? And we want to make sure the market is big enough for us. So we don't necessarily go for the smallest market. We go for a market whereby everyone is getting a little bit of the pie. That greatly reduces our risk. Once we've kind of identified that product, what we do and what she did was she went out to suppliers in China and she chatted with them and she made sure her numbers all worked. When the numbers were good, she got a sample. That sample meant that she was able to check, you know, is this product of good quality? Like, am I going to get a lot of returns? She didn't want returns. Right? We want a product that, you know, we can confidently send to a consumer and we know we're not going to get negative feedback or we're not going to get a pile of returns or we're not going to have all these other issues because we don't want that. We want to be concentrating on our next product at that point, right? So she did that and the product, you know, it, it turned out it was fine. There was, there was no issues. Initially then at that point, she was wondering, well, what's next? She talked to her supplier and they agreed an MOQ. So that is minimal order quantity. And the, the point of this really is not to order too many units that, you know, if the product didn't sell really fast, you'd be sitting on them for a long time because maybe she wants to buy another, another product. And likewise, it really is just about at this point, testing a product in a marketplace to determine you know, the run rate. And the run rate means that we know we sell, you know, 20, 30, 40 units, or whatever it may be, a week, right? So then we can project how many units we're gonna need, and then we can order that for round two. So realistically, on your first order, you nearly always run out of stock. And I'm sure that's what's gonna happen for my student, right? Because the product is selling so well. It is now a best seller on Amazon. And I love when this happens. This is not the only time this happened. Like we launched a product three weeks ago and it got to the stage where we're selling 15 units a day within one week. Within one week. It's it's it it's unbelievable like the demand out there guys. My first product was dog whistles and at its height I was selling between 50 and 70 units of those dog whistles a day. Crazy, crazy, crazy numbers, right? Nonetheless at this point, she has brought in her product and it has gone live. And she's created a really good listing. She's like, you know, really nice images. She's made sure everything's okay in terms of, you know, the copy and, and, and everything that's in her responsibility. And she's also spent a little, a little bit on Amazon PPC. But by following that roadmap, she has now set up and built a company that is selling, like, I don't know what her exact figures are, but you know, it's it's over five thousand pounds, and 
And that's not something that's just going to stop. Like if she keeps feeding that machine, feeding that business, that product is going to keep selling and selling and selling. It's going to keep making her profit and profit and profit. And she doesn't do anything. Like once it's set up and running, like she can concentrate on her next product. She can concentrate on getting maybe a new supplier. She can concentrate on um, whatever she wants. It, it doesn't really matter. I, I would always say, though, I wouldn't recommend just sitting down and relaxing. I would be like, okay, this is working. Now how do I improve it? And how do I get another product just to keep adding to it? Because we don't want a one product business. We want a multiple product business. But still, it's really cool to see this happening right out the gate with this product. Like Once the product went live and she'd done all her work beforehand, followed our advice, it just started selling. And as I said, this just happens for, for a lot of people. Um, so yeah, it's, it's really, really cool. If you're interested in more about this, you can go up to my bio. Uh, or if you have any questions, put them down in the comments. But I just want to inspire you guys. Like I just love launching new products and I love to see them just grow. Like just to fulfill that demand and just you know make sales. <laughs> There's nothing better than just open up your Amazon Seller Central and just seeing sale, 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 sale. It's it's pretty epic. Alright, folks, talk to you later.